Yo, what is up, YouTube? And we're here for another video. So, um, I haven't made one in the last month because um, I kind of started this project maybe like six months ago. I snap build it and I didn't film it. And so, yeah, so I have no footage. So, I'm just going to make a video of me talking and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and I hope you guys enjoy. And let's get straight to it. And we got the ages today. So, here we go. Bam, that's it right there. So when I was, you know, contemplating what I was going to do to this kit, I couldn't decide on the color scheme because if you don't know, it's pink. And I wasn't really feeling the pink at all. So, I mean, it's not really pink. It's kind of like a, like a rose red, I guess you would say. But I was like, I wasn't really feeling that color scheme. So I was like, you know. I'm gonna do my own thing and change it up a little bit. So I went with the with the gray scheme. Basically, this is the the face shift armor in the anime before it turns on. It's basically all gray before it turns on. So I kind of wanted to do my own little take on that, and this is what I came up with. So I try to use uh, three different blacks, but it's kind of hard to tell. I even did a little bit of gunmetal. I did some dark iron for the frame. Uh, I've been using this tangerine on all my seed kits. I don't know why. I actually uh, got the tangerine from my RX-93 UG Land resin kits. And that's the, the, the tangerine from that kit. So I've just been using that on all my seed kits just because I don't know, I kind of like the kind of like the tangerine color. And I even got it on the shield a little bit. Uh, I got the decals from Deputy Decals from Korea. That's my favorite place to get decals. They're freaking awesome. They're very durable. Uh, they dissolve very fast in the water, so you're not sitting there waiting 30, 45 to a minute for the sticker to come off. It comes off very quickly. And here, um, I don't know what this piece is from. I think it's from like one of my old strays, so I added that on there. And um, I also added on a little... You can't really see it, but give me one second and I'll show you guys. So I had this little piece right here. This is from the Freedom resin kit, but I didn't, I didn't end up using it. So I just attached it to this piece with some glue. So it has a nice little tail. Then um, let me show you what else I did. So I had these leftover wings from my Impulse Gundam kit. Cause I did the resin kit so I didn't even use these wings whatsoever. So I was like, man, look at these things. These things are beautiful. So I just like, I can't let these go to waste. I gotta use them somehow. So I did some modifications and I'm able to add them onto the side skirt. Well, I'll just show you guys. So I did little modifications here. I can just pop it on. Bam. So now he has little extra wings on there. Look really, I really like the way they look. So when I transform him, he's, he's gonna have the whole freaking jet fighter pilot look. So yeah, this is pretty much it. This is my Aegis Gundam. Second, I'm gonna transform it. Wish me luck, hope I don't scratch any paint because transforming Gundams that are painted is not very fun, but I'm gonna do it. So I gotta take pictures of it anyways to post to my Instagram. Uh, make sure you follow my Instagram at Gumplarazzi. We can see all my work because that's where I started basically doing this Gundam journey. So hope you guys check it out. Hope you follow me there. If you want me to follow you back, uh, send me a message. Let's start a dialogue, make a little friendship, and maybe I'll follow you back. We don't know, but don't know until you try. So hit me up on there. Yeah, so I'm just go ahead and transform it and I'll be back. And so I'm back. So I transformed it. Oh, that was not fun. That was not fun whatsoever. I did scratch it a little bit, but that's what happens. So I'm gonna have to fix that later, but y'all won't see it. Only I know it. So it's all good. It's part of the Gundam game, but here we go. Bam, it's transformed. So this is what it looks like. Not bad at all, not bad at all. 
So I don't know if y'all know if y'all watch Gundam Seed at all, but what he does is he opens his legs up here. And he basically like a, like a claw and he grabs a Gundam and he has a blaster right here in the middle. And that's where he blasts his enemy and blows them up. Pretty interesting design for a mobile suit, I would say. It's kind of a little too close for comfort for my taste. If I was a Gundam pilot, I wouldn't want to be that close to an enemy. But yeah, but this is it, man. This is pretty much the Aegis Gundam. This is its transformed flight form. Yeah, it's not that bad, not that bad. Well, I hope you guys like it. Uh, please show us my channel some support. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this crazy, crazy Gundam. Uh, let me know if you would want to pilot this or would you not, or would you uh, pick one of the other four of the original five. But um, yeah, thank you for checking out the video. Thank you for being here. Always remember, style is everything. One step at a time. Crash to create. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.